Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for watching. There are rooms in our home that are getting a makeover, so we are going to be starting a new home makeover series to take you guys along and show you the before and after. If you enjoy watching home renovations, DIY, and home decor ideas, you're in the right channel and I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button so I know to keep these videos coming and if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Also click the bell notification so you can be notified as soon as I upload a new video. I received tons of amazing feedback in our guest bedroom makeover and I want to thank everyone that showed your love and support. If you missed it, I will leave it linked below for you to check out, then you can come back here and watch this new entryway makeover to be updated with the home makeover series that we have started. I'm really excited to share the process in case you're looking for ideas for your home and hope this video gives you inspiration and motivation to update any room that you have been wanting to tackle. Starting off, I'm going to show you how to make your very own DIY wall art. I bought these two canvases from Hobby Lobby with a 40% off coupon because that week they were full price, but they're usually on sale for 50% off, which is a great deal if you wait the right week. The black and white paint is from Walmart, and I'm using brushes from Dollar Tree, which work really good when I'm painting. I got this brush set in a set of three for a dollar. You can't beat that. I'm starting off mixing a little bit of black paint with a lot of white to create the perfect gray color I have in mind and I'm going to be mixing the colors until I get the shade I want. Be sure to make enough paint for two canvases if that's what you plan to do like I am. Now I'm adding the paint on the left side and the right side of the canvas and keeping the middle bare so I can add another shade later on. Next, using the same color I just painted with, I'm going to add a good amount of white to make a lighter shade of gray and apply it to the middle of the canvas. The line in the middle doesn't have to be perfect straight across, so I'm intentionally adding paint strokes around the middle to create more of a textured layer. Now I'm taking my one and a half inch brush with black paint to add thick layers of lines going down. I'm so excited to share there's a surprise giveaway in today's video. We are now past 300,000 subscribers and I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to my YouTube channel and show your love and support. I will be giving away four $25 e-gift cards to four winners as a thank you for being here. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and comment anything in the comment section. That's it, I will announce the winner one week from today in the description box. You guys are the best YouTube family I could ever ask for and I'm truly honored and grateful you're here taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and following me along this journey. Thank you so much for inspiring me and motivating me to keep sharing what I love to do. Each comment and message I receive doesn't go unnoticed and I appreciate it so much. You guys are a blessing in my life. In case you missed my pregnancy announcement in the bedroom makeover, I'm currently 8 months pregnant and in serious nesting mode that has got me wanting to finish every inch of this house, you guys. Let me know in the comments what room in your home you're wanting to update and give it a nice refresh. This is the silver metallic paint I will be adding on the sides of the canvas to give a nice shine and on top to give the wall art a more glam look. I used a 40% off coupon for it at Hobby Lobby, but if you don't have a store near you, I will leave a similar one linked below. I 
have seen this silver leaf paper for many years now and finally decided to go ahead and try it out to see how good it works and I really do like it. It's also from Hobby Lobby and make sure you use your coupon for it. I added glitter to see if I was going to like how it looked previously but I didn't like it so I painted back over it with the black paint. You can definitely add the glitter if you like it, it's all up to you. It's fragile as you can see the paper ripping off so be extra careful when removing it to add on your canvas and read the directions to properly add it to the painting. I applied it directly to the wet paint and it stuck on just fine. Meanwhile I work on my art, my husband is painting the entryway from the builder's beige color to the same gray used in the bedroom makeover. I will leave it linked below if you're interested in it, then he started painting the door black because it's going to give a nice pop to the makeover and make a huge difference. We let the walls dry overnight, then my husband started hanging the wall decor and mirror and I started to decorate which is my favorite part of the makeover process because I get to see it all come together. Adding a pretty decorative throw on karate chop pillows always make a statement in any room. Here we have our new entryway makeover. We love the way it turned out and I'm really happy about adding the pop of black in here. It makes the room look and feel more luxe. It's definitely out of my comfort zone because it's bold, but I've been really into this color scheme lately and I wanted to try something different. The decorative throw pillows are from Home Goods, the throw blanket is from Z Gallery, and the acrylic leg chase is from Home Goods. I love the way my two DIY wall arts turned out. They really tie the room together, bringing in all the silver, black, and white together. The entrance is the first place your guests see when they come in your home and should reflect the rest of your home. It's kind of like a sneak peek of how you decorate your home and the style you have. This faux fur black rug was a total score from Ross that I bought for only $39.99. It's pretty big and although it's not practical for everyday use for the entryway, I still wanted to add it in here to enjoy. The silver lanterns and pretty much everything you see here is from Home Goods except the decorative mercury glass spheres that are from Pier 1. The bowl that they're in was a gift from my mom so I'm not sure where she bought it and the silver frames are from Ross. I get a lot of questions where this brown mirror is from and it's from a local furniture store in my town but I will leave a similar one linked below. I had some metallic paper left over from a previous DIY so I cut two pieces and put it in the frames and it looks like a mini abstract wall art in the frame.
The smeared wall sconce is from Z Gallery and it's the perfect size for this little corner in the entryway when you walk in. I will be adding battery operated tea lights to have it lit up when the sun comes down. I really like the look of lighted candles, it just brings coziness and warmth to any room. Here's a quick clip of the entryway before so you can see the difference that paint, light fixtures, and accent pieces make a huge difference. Previously we had the builders fixtures and I couldn't wait to change them out when we moved into these gorgeous mini chandeliers. They take this space to another level and complete the look of the makeover. They were actually the first light fixtures we installed and matched the living room chandelier, all from Lamps Plus. I will leave them linked if you're interested in them. This concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed and were inspired to get started on your next home project. I would love to see pictures of your before and after. You can tag me on Instagram at LG Queen Home Decor. I'll be back soon and talk to you all in my next one. Have fun with your room makeovers and enjoy the process because the results are always worth it, you guys. Take care.